Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. I think for asking a bite beat down here on this hump day afternoon. I've already done chest. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put the one clip that I got from my chest workout at the end of this uh, video. So uh, I hope you stick around for that. Uh, we're going to do some videoing of my leg routine because today we're doing something different that I haven't done in a while, and that is slip machine leg presses, vertical leg press. I uh, started doing these a long time ago after just kind of having the idea clicked in my head. I tried them. I enjoyed them well enough. And whenever I got rid of my hack squat, my Titan hack squat, I thought, well, I've at least got this I can do. But I stopped doing that because I was on the squat kind of journey. Even though I'm not chasing a higher squat uh, max, one rep goal, uh, I was still wanting to squat and per try to perfect my squat as best I could. So that's all I've been doing is squatting over here and squatting on my other rack. So today I thought I'd mix it up just a little bit today and we're going to do some vertical pressing here. It's very difficult to get in and out of this bench and contraption. Uh, so just bear with me. Uh, it's not easy. So we got uh, 45s on the end. This bar is 57 pounds. That brings it up to 147 pounds. This is pretty much 12 pounds heavier than your standard every everyday Olympic bar like you normally see me use because it's attached to these little carriages here, these metal housings uh, that go up and down on the guide rods. So all that together is 12 pounds heavier. So having said all that, let's go ahead and uh, try and get in position here and do a set. Seventeen pounds, four forty-fives, and the bar is fifty-seven. We're gonna to top out here. I have went over five hundred on this, but we're not gonna do that today. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dang it. All right, guys, and just like that, we're done with another workout, chest and legs. Uh, about this exercise here, this movement, if you are any less mobile than I am, if I'm saying that correctly, if you are not very mobile, this might not be for you because it is difficult getting into that position. So uh, it's always been difficult since I started doing this, but it's a little bit more now that I've put on a little more weight and I'm more bloated feeling. It's a little bit more difficult. And uh, that's the first time I've done this in quite a while. So whew, uh, I only did five sets. I always have these marked out in six sets, but I only did five. I felt like stopping, but I did do two sets of the 417. Uh, so that's good. And uh, on the bench press, um, yeah, uh, I almost could have got 10. That's my goal is to get 10. I've done nine now a handful of times and uh, almost. So uh, 300 for 10 is my goal, but I'm happy with the nine again. That's what she said. So anyway, guys, another another day, another workout in the books. Uh, yeah, I hope I inspire you a little bit to do your own workouts, whether it's with gym equipment like this or bands or just calisthenics and whatever other words you want to throw out there for doing body weight movements and different things, walking, going for a jog, riding a bicycle, spinning on an exercise bike, swimming, playing some sort of sports, whatever it is you want to do, uh, get some kind of activity in your life because it not only helps your heart and your lungs and your brain, it also helps your heart, your lungs, and your brain. I've been hitting the head. Anyway, it helps a lot, guys, uh, mentally and physically and emotionally and all kind of other L.E.s. So uh, what other what other uh, L.E.s there is? So anyway, guys, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, Michael, your insane host. And uh, get up, get out, get red, and do it to it. We'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown. Get up, get out, get red, and do it, do it!